All right, Coach, before we talk about the game, talk to us a little bit about, about your trip up to New York. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, me and the wife got to spend some time in New York City, and uh, my children got to spend a lot of time with their, their family. So it was definitely rewarding, uh, restful, chaotic, a um, lot going on, but um, certainly a beautiful time. It's ice cold at times, though, but uh, we had a wonderful time, wonderful holiday season. Thanks. Speaking of going home vacationing and just taking a break as well, seems like there's been a couple of players, some of the team trying to get back in time for Friday's game and with the game being pushed out. Talk to us a little bit about what developed into the pushback of the game being going to Friday. Well, uh, without mentioning airlines, there, there's some issues uh, nationwide. And obviously all the bad weather uh, through Buffalo into the Northeast has put a stalemate on some things, and it's unfortunate but we're very lucky and very uh, gracious and thankful uh, that Flagler was willing to move the game to Friday because, you know, we've been practicing, you know, with less and less people. And um, we, we have some guys that aren't getting back till tonight and some getting back tomorrow morning. So it's been a little bit of a struggle and adjustment, but we're grateful uh, that Flagler was able to move the game to Friday. Also kind of a godsend, too, because most of the conference, they're getting back into conference play, and most teams are playing two conference conference games in the New Year's Eve weekend versus us where we just only have to worry about a non-conference game and then bury on Sunday? It's a lot. Uh, you know, to come back and then have 48 hours to adjust for conference or non-conference, you know, it's a lot on the plates. Uh, but these guys, you know, they, they're they experts in making schedules, and, you know, we trust that they're uh, putting everything together as best they can for the student-athlete. You know, it's uh, it gets interesting because you have the man mandatory break for the athletes through the holiday week. Um, and then you got to be careful with them coming back. And now we have to be extra careful because we've got guys coming back uh, late because of airlines and, and weather. You know, so you know, just got to be real careful with your, your ladies and, and protect them and make sure they're okay to get out there and compete. And now kind of shifting gears towards Friday's opponent with Flagler, although they're currently 3-8 and eight on the season, this will be the third team that we've played in the past four games that has averaged 40 or more rebounds. And I know as of this past month, we haven't been – as ideal in terms of trying to stop teams with 40 plus. So coming into the game, what's going to be something that the we'll have to adjust or tell the team in order to make sure that rebounding and second chances won't be an issue? Our first five minutes is probably the most important uh, tomorrow. We have not gotten off to good starts. Uh, balls go in and out. We miss free throws. Uh, unforced errors turn the ball over, <clears throat> being too aggressive. Uh, so we need to uh, make some adjustments and really manage the first five to seven minutes of the game better as coaches and put them in position to succeed early. Uh, yeah, Flagler's aggressive, and they're, they're not a 3-8 and eight team. They're well coached. Uh, he, he has them motivated. And, uh, you know, like I said, they just played a heck of a game with Lynn. So, you know, they're, they're probably feeling pretty good coming back from the break. Yeah, I was just getting ready to say we did check out Flagler's schedule and whatnot, and they had a really good game against Lynn, you know, shooting over 50%. And obviously this is a season and a sport where you can't really just base everything off of season stats, but it's about what they've done recently and how they have been faring out in the past few games and what kind of adjustments they've been able to go on. Yeah, like I said, they're not 3-8. and eight, And that's the first thing I text, you know, my assistants during the break. I said, if this team's 3-8, and eight, I wonder how. And, you know, they're athletic, they're hungry. Uh, they've certainly been shooting the ball well, over 40% from three. Uh, like you said, they rebound the ball pretty well. And we have a, a history with them. You know, we, we've played them home and away the last couple of years, uh, like a long-distance rivalry. But, you know, like I said, two, two teams that are going to fight. Shifting some gears here, kind of talking about our team and just the progression as well. I know that you've been a big proponent on family and trying to see this team develop. One player we've seen in particular in this past month has been Tadra Simpson Simpson. Her progression and in the last three games combining over 50% from the field. Just talk a little bit about, you know, how you've enjoyed seeing Tadra grow and develop into this program. You know, all, all the newcomers have been fantastic in practice, not just Tadra. It doesn't always translate to playing time, um, but Anna and Jamoke and uh, and Diaz and, you know, the guys we brought in have been, have been hungry <clears throat> and have uh, been spirited. And, you know, just you, they don't always add up to playing time. You know, we have... You know, we have this backcourt that plays a lot of minutes, and we got a 1,000-point scorer, a possible 2,000-point scorer, a possible top 10-point guard in the country, you know. So it, it's difficult to uh, play them all, but they all play well in practice. They all been a joy to watch in practice. 
Now, Tadra has impacted us against Bentley, against Lee on the defensive end. And lately, she's been hitting the three a little bit. But with all freshmen, it's going to be up and down at times. And we just try to manage the highs. But I love all our newcomers, um, you know, top to bottom. They, 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 they've been a great recruiting class. And, you know, we have, unfortunately, a young lady uh, sitting out with ankle surgery. Uh, she'll be um, out all season from Connecticut, Millie. And uh, it's been a great recruiting class. I can't I didn't have any complaints. I just wish I had more than 40 minutes of playing time per position because it's tough because they, they all work hard.